bag, are you? something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. It's going to blow your mind. Hello everybody. Arctic Eagle here. Welcome back to Until Dawn. In the last episode we made it to, well, technically we didn't make it to this part, but I will put the, f I I'll put the part of me walking towards this area at the beginning of this video because as soon as I ended my last video I continued to move through the area see if I could get to like a save spot or something because I didn't know if this place had save spots or if it you just saved randomly I guess it saves randomly considering I ended it here and we're still here so yeah I'm glad it, I'm glad it's like that but we're gonna continue on I think we have to talk to this guy um I don't know what we're doing Guess we're just walking behind the building. What do you, what, what do you guys show me? Rad, right? What? Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Nice shooting range, though. Oh wait, I get to shoot. I'm hitting. Uh, I'm hitting our two. Oh. I, I can't just shoot randomly. Man, I was hoping I could just shoot randomly. Ah, I'm good. I'm good at shooting. Yeah. Wow, nice shooting tips. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Squirrel. I'm not shooting the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Yeah, there is no way I was shooting that shooting that squirrel. Although, it probably could have. There could have been a different butterfly effect, probably, if I'd done it. But I'll figure that out next when we go back and do. Oh. Let's see, what do I got? I got a good, I got a new clue. What's this? It's a one it's a wanted poster. Torn up wanted poster. So I'm guessing this is the guy that is uh, that is creeping up on us and making us kill ourselves and shit. Wouldn't be surprising. It's cool. Cool. It's it's scary yet cool. All right, let's go to the cable car. Just gotta go up. Yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that. What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Creepy. Very creepy.
Alright, let's get on this cable car. Maybe. There it is. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. Who was that? How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. That's... I can't do anything. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this? Huh. Wait a minute. Okay. Thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna see something on there. Finally, you coming? Oh, it's here. Okay. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but Here we go. We're going to go up. Like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. You know, begins. I have never been in a cable car. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, on that day, decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. <sighs> what a funny joke. Butterfly effect has an effect on everything. Never know what's gonna happen. One choice could lead to a totally different outcome. Oh, who's this? Oh, Jess. Cute. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, now I'm playing. Oh, God. I hate, I hate, I don't like games like this where it's always swapping back and forth between. Ow. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Yes. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick Chris. <laughs> Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> Well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. We're going to say give it back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. 
Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, uh, Jess, you can tell us. We can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Man. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily. Mike's ex. Oh, um. Okay. would have been like as pretty. Emily's new boyfriend. Nice. Nice. And where's the bellboy when you need one? They don't, have, they don't have bellboys on top of mountain. Don't you know that? Ugh. Getting chills. We're almost there. Oh, uh, it is. Getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Holy fuck! Jesus! <laughs> God, I hate when that happens. Look, Mike. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. We're all friends here. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. We're good. All good. You guys right. gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Now. <laughs> uh, uh, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trail. Right. See you, man. See ya. I love this See guy. Ya. I love this guy. I just Mike is amazing. Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right, fine. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Why do I have a feeling she's going back for Mike? It's just a feeling, you know? And I'm pretty sure that guy's gonna die. So who's this? Ashley has a crush on Kit. Yeah, has a crush on Kiss. Yep. Has a crush on Chris. And she's like an academic. Hmm. Alright. Who's she spying on? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Huh. I I knew it. I had a fear. I, I... Oh! Holy <laughs> fucking Christ! Hey, whoa! <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, wow, man. I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Dan. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh. It... Let me check it out. Uh. Yep. Yeah, it's. 
kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <laughs> For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. No, no, no. No, really, Matt, it's not no. opening your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no, no. All right. Uh, sure, if you say so. Oh, I don't need him seeing that, because uh, that could that, that could make a really bad butterfly effect, and I really don't want that right now. I know how, I know how boyfriends get. I used to be one of those boyfriends. Let me check our phone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Oh, it's Mike. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab silver. I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh shit. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Got him! Hey, you know that? <laughs> I'm a. Where are you I'm fighting? great at snowball fights. <laughs> Bitch. Oh! Ah. Hey! Nope. Oh, Can't touch me. Is that what I think it is? Hey ya! Uh, oh shit! Hey, Mike. Here you go. Boom, oh, you got, me. Okay. got a great arm. This chick's got a good arm. You can't hide Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. So don't throw it at, don't throw it at the bird. Yeah. Oh, wow. right. And then what? Oh, no more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. Oh Done. geez. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. Oh please don't. Okay. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Uh, Snowball. Ah! I, I mean. I, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, you're really. Gonna I don't know if I, I should have kissed them because well, I don't know I think of what kind of. One thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait. Until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was hanging out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I oh. think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. All right. You go, girl. Who's this? Who am I playing as? Oh God, not this guy again. Hello again. And how are we feeling? I'm feeling good. scratch the surface in our last session so let's go a little bit deeper this time I don't like you this time we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety now pick up that book turn the pages you will see a set of pictures and symbols I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious Oh yeah, I told him last time that I, I got anxious. I guess I'm gonna go with men. Uh, 
Uh, crowds. I don't like being in crowds. Honestly, I really don't like being in crowds. I wouldn't know about planets that I've never been in one. I personally fear heights. Ugh. Like, ooh, neither one of them really scare me. But I love. Uh, I, I'm gonna go with rats because I, I I love snakes. Absolutely do. I guess rats. I guess rats could scare you because they can uh, carry some diseases. Um. Let's see, guns. As as much as I like guns, I don't. I I. Well. I don't fear cockroaches. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with rats again. I love. I I personally love cockroaches. I know that sounds weird, but oh good god, clowns. Especially those kind of clowns. Oh my god, turn the page. Gore. Not a big gore fan. Oh, oh hi. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Dumping up. Were, were you... Did you mean to do that? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Rats. Love spiders. Needles. Hate needles. This guy is so weirding me out. I love zombies. I hate clowns. Why are we doing this again? More needles. I love dogs. That's not a dog. That's a wolf. Needles. Why are there so many needles? Can we stop doing this? This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> You're creepy. You're weird. Uh, well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I don't like this guy. I really don't. Do I have to go through this so, so often? Oh. We got this kind of... Okay. Previously. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! Oh, What's we're watching on? this again? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut Ah! <laughs> I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. So, I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I, I don't know if I just... No, Man, I no. feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Hey, Josh. What up? Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Mm -hmm. Wish I had a spare million hey, lying yeah. around. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could've done with some bellboys, but uh, hey. Can't get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy though, I mean, it's really weird being back here. Yeah, this guy's back too. Yo, 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 we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you know, 
doing all right. I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time. You know. <laughs> just make it sure. Always used to. I know. I know how some people can get. Just make it sure. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. Okay. Hey Ash. Hi Chris. It's nice being back. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Those two need to get together. Alright, we're gonna figure a way in. And then... Maybe get some alone time with Ashley. Wink, Ashley's wink. looking pretty hot today, right? She's uh. like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Uh, sh yeah. Absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, <laughs> look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. I would definitely, Maybe personally, right. I would do it. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. I would personally do it. I, I would. It's just I got control over Chris. On breaking into my parents' lodge, bud. I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coach. I, I, w I was confident. Four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last hey, time we... I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. No, no it's not. It likes cool buns. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. Axe holder. There's no axe. Oh, that's that's weird. I know where the axe is too. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Whoa. Did, wait, what? Oh, wait. Were we supposed to do this? Oh. I I did not know we were supposed to do that. All right, up, oh, it's a daisy. Oh shit! And in we go. Hey, ow! Oh, I'm okay. I'm good. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Uh. -huh. Uh. Did I do that? I don't think so. Here, use this. All right. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flame oh. thrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Alright. Frozen lock. Bingo. Alright, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Sounds like me. No. 
but I guess I will. Alright, so where's... Oh, what's that? Uh-oh, is this... The, don't please... Please don't be a death totem. Please don't be a death totem. It's a lost totem. Oh, no. Oh, no. <clears throat> Okay, so we got death, guidance, lost, danger, and fortune. We've already found death, guidance, and loss. Now we just have. To oh no! I want to know who we lost. Who is that? Okay. I'm gonna, um, see, I think that's the bathroom, but I'm gonna end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.